What up my real estate family? Welcome to the Living For You, the YouTube channel and my real estate journey. I'm Realtor Larry Smith. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I recently became a licensed California Realtor um, as in last June, July, August. Um, and I've been documenting my journey throughout this so you can go back into on this playlist and you can learn more about the journey. Or you can go into the other stuff that's within this channel. This channel is full of valuable content that we create, that we come out with weekly. And this is just one of the many different levels of content. Um, if you don't know, like I said, I'm Realtor Larry Smith. You can go to my Realtor page at LarrySmith.Realtor. That is my National Association of Realtors page. Um, I am a member of the National Association of Realtors. My broker is Keller Williams Shoreline. Um, and I'm here in sunny Southern California. And so you can go out and get more information about me there. Uh, you can find information everywhere. Um, but if you're looking to buy or sell or rent or anything real estate related, even if it's just informational, you can hit me up um, at Lawrence Smith at kw.com. That's Lawrence Smith at kw.com. And reach out to me. All the information is out there. All right, so I want to say Happy New Year's to those of you who've always been around, to my followers, to my family, that is what you are, you're more than followers, you're not even fans, you are family. Um, and so to my family there, um, like I said before, I've been documenting this real estate experience. It has been an interesting in my last six months through this that I've seen, now going on seven months, I would assume. It's been a very interesting experience. I've done everything from reading the books like the millionaire real estate agent, I have been taking many courses and I, like I said, I've documented all that. So I'm, uh, uh, last time I was here, I gave a roundup of pretty much where the year was with me. I haven't sold a house yet, but I am anticipating sometime soon to sell a house. And of course, when that comes through and all of the other stuff that comes with that, including the walkthrough, whatever, I will document it here um, because this is my journey that I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, my real estate journey. So anyway, um, so I did all of that stuff. And so this year is kind of interesting because this year I decided to take a program. It's called the Ignite 2.0. It's a Keller Williams program that is supposed to kind of give you the drive and give you the motivation and give you the tools and the other things needed in order to get sales and to become a productive real estate agent. And it, it was a class that was recommended by my broker, but it's also a class that even in the wind of learning, I actually heard quite a bit about, and I heard that it was actually a very beneficial class for me to take. So it is a, I, I want to say it's 12 weeks long, <laughs> um, four months for the first part, and then eight, four months, I'm oh, sorry, four, 12 weeks. So it's eight weeks for the first part, or four weeks for the first part, and eight weeks for the second part, either way. But I will be going through it pretty much every week or so. Um, going through this information and learning and taking these classes and interacting with seasoned agents, new agents, professionals, um, new to the field just like me, learning, and hopefully we can get our first sale. One of the things the lady said is that she, our, the goal that she has is to get us our sale within the first 90 days. And I said that would be phenomenal because I'd be so happy and so excited that I sell my first house. And so it's a very interesting class. I'm learning quite a bit. The teacher is phenomenal. And I recommend if you're a broker, whether it's Keller Williams or not, if your broker has a program like this, a Ignite program, a starter program, a program to get you moving, I recommend that you can take it. If you recall, in my second to last video, I said I think I need a mentor. And I had the whole conversation as to why I thought I needed a mentor and what I think a mentor would have given to me. And so um, because of that, <laughs> um, this is kind of like a mentor program because she is very hands-on. She is very almost kind of pushy, but it's okay. It's a good push because it's pushing me to be more productive and to be more active um, in my real estate business. And it is a business. Um, that is something that I realized last year, and I think I mentioned it in a video. Um, I do find this to be a, a business because the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. There's nobody really, really driving you every day to get up and make the calls, to get leads, to document stuff, to study the materials and learn the forms and to, and, and to let people know that you're in real estate so that you can get what you need to get with them so that you can get the sales and, and build the career that you're trying to build. So it tech, tech and of course, uh, because you're an independent uh, agent, <laughs> 
you also have to make sure your taxes are paid. So, so it is a responsibility as though you have your own business in a package after getting a real estate license. And what I have learned through this journey thus far is that the more I put into it, the more I get out of it. The more effort I take, the more you know that I see the benefits of my efforts. And so I think it is important that you find a mentor. As I said, I needed last the video, second video for last. So this program is kind of like a mentorship program. Like I said, it's called the Ignite program through Keller Williams. And we're learning everything about lead generation. We're learning everything about what our motivations for real estate is, the, the, the big why, as Gary Keller puts it in his book, but as a lot of people in Keller Williams follow. Um, and we also learn other things like how to maintain our contacts and how to list people and, and, and doing the work and growing and, 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 and giving out cards and feedback and all kinds of things. So it's a very interesting, intensive, somewhat intrusive, but in a good way <laughs> type of course. So I'm hoping to get kind of that jolt of life to my real estate career from taking this course. That is my hope. So I'm going to put <laughs> as much as I have put into pretty much my educational experience my entire life. For those of you who don't know, I am a career educator. I've spent the better of almost 20 years teaching and being in classrooms and working with students at all levels from the very young kids up until the adult learners in the college level where I'm at now. And so I, I am familiar with being a student. I am familiar with being a teacher. And so I have always had an ambition to learn. And so I'm going to put that same amount of drive as I put in learning this, that I put in learning other things. And, and, and hopefully the effort that I put into it is going to be productive and get me exactly the outcome that I want to have. And, and I think that's an interesting point to mention. You got to put effort in. I think a lot of people go into things, whether it's a real estate career or whether it's starting any business or anything they do, learning a new skill, and they want to put the minimal amount of their efforts in it and expect the maximum amount of return. Life doesn't work <laughs> that way. That is not a, a realistic way of seeing life. That is not a realistic way of thinking. You, the more you put in and the effort and the time and the work towards something, the more you get out of it. That is just a life lesson that if you got a hold of early on in life, it will be something that will be very, 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 very valuable to you later on. And it was always something that I figured out that I realized easy. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> There was a time where I would try to play the lottery. I've never been an avid lottery player. And we know that I think it was like this last mega million situation that was like over a billion dollars. So it was a big deal, right? And there would have been a time I would have been playing that ticket and I would have hoped and I would have pleaded and prayed that I win. And I would never win. Like I would never, I would spend more money trying to play than I would spend winning. And I'm, of course, that's not everybody's experience. Everybody has their different levels of winnings when it comes to lottery. But for me, it just seems like I was wasting more money. And so that, and I started, and this was early on, like 18, 19, whatever. And so I started early on to put it in my brain that in order for me to be able to accomplish anything, I got to put the work in. I got to work, I got to learn, I got to build, and I got to put the effort in and I will see success. I followed that mantra in my college career and I worked hard in college and I've seen the success. I followed that mantra in starting businesses before and I worked real hard and I've seen success. And I continue, that is kind of my thing, that the effort and the amount of time and energy and, 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 and creativity and whatever else I need to put into something, I am going to see that return to me two, three, ten times fold on the other end if I just put in enough effort and, and give my all. And so to this real estate a night program that I'm in, this mentorship, this education, this, this intrusive but in a good way program, I'm going to put a lot of effort into it because I want to see the productivity. I want to see the, 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 the what it can produce of me being a successful agent, of me selling houses. If I can sell, my minimum goal is selling four houses a year, a house a quarter, right? Every three months, a house. Um, but if I can sell more, of course, why wouldn't I want to sell and buy, you know, and, 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 and do the, the interactions for more? But my minimum goal is at least a house a quarter because I have other businesses that I'm also developing at the same time. So real estate for me is a part-time thing, but it is something that I want to see fruit from. So I'm not going to give part-time energy to. I'll give full-time energy to something that I want to see part-time fulfillment of. 
and I'll be content with that, a house of four. And I've said that before, and I know that seems like a small goal, but for somebody like me, who is, like I said, building other businesses and have, and actually have a career, have had years of a career, I'm not dependent on real estate. I have a career to depend on, and I have other ambitious things that I'm building. At the moment, you'll see soon things are coming out. And so um, that's pretty much why I'm putting what I want in it. Now, for somebody who is going to be full-time, you should still put a full-time, if not more, energy in it. And I hope by me documenting my journey and me telling you my story and going through my experience, you can avoid some of the pitfalls. We can learn and, and, and we can grow together. You can give me information and give me feedback and we can grow together in this real estate journey experience because it is definitely, definitely, definitely an experience. And I hear when, when people hear that you have a real estate license, they get excited. I've picked up the phone over these last few days of being in this program where I've had to contact my sphere of influence, people in my phone list, and people are excited to hear that I've gotten my license and people are excited to hear that I'm selling real estate and they're, they're, they're gung-ho and they're like, well, I'm going to definitely give you a call or I'm going to definitely recommend people to you because I know you, I like you, I trust you. <laughs> you know, that's usually the feedback that I get. Yeah, you're definitely somebody I would send people too. You're definitely somebody if I'm in need, I would reach out to. And those are good signs because that means aside from having this real estate thing, I've developed a character quality with people that they feel confident enough to trust me. They feel confident in my abilities and my knowledge and they know that I'm going to steer them and help them in the right direction. And, and that's another good life point. See, this, this, this conversation is about my real estate journey, but there's a lot of good life points within this entire thing. And another good life point is no matter what you're doing, just as a person, build a character of integrity where people can look at you as somebody that they can have confidence in or trust in that you're not going to steer them in the wrong direction. That 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 you, you present yourself as a person of quality. So when you do have business opportunities, like you become a real estate agent, you become an insurance agent, you start a business or whatever, people can say, well, I know for certain I'm going to support his or her business because... They're a person of quality, character, and integrity. So that's always important whether you're in business or whether you're just on your daily grind at work, that you're building a persona of character and a persona of quality. And so that's super important. That was super important to me before real estate. It is super important to me after real estate. And it's going to be something super important to me to on into the netherworld, the afterlife, wherever we go after this experience. So yeah. So, um, so um, that's always a good thing. So I'm looking forward to a lot of things to share. Like I said, 2021, I definitely want to sell my first house. But if I can sell all four of the houses, the house for quarter that I want, I have lived the dream of real estate that I, I wanted to live. And if I feel like if I can do it once, I can do it a hundred times, right? See, see, I'm going to be transparent and honest. My biggest issue is being able to muster up the courage to 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 offer to sell someone's home. My biggest fear is to just to get over that first hurdle of offering my services to somebody um, random that I don't know. I can offer it to my friends, I can offer it to my family and to people I know, but to random strangers, that is really my only <laughs> hurdle. Now, I know some of you are saying, but you're a teacher, you talk to people all the time. You're, you seem very friendly, you seem very outgoing. I am very friendly, I am very outgoing. But there's, in my mind, for whatever reason, there's a difference in offering people a service versus just talking to them randomly on the streets. And I know I have other businesses and that I have to do the same thing. So this, this mind thing <laughs> that I have to do is going to be helpful for me in all endeavors that I'm taking on it's, and not just in real estate. It's going to be good for real estate, but it's going to also open the floodgates for me in many other areas. And so that's why I'm excited to take this class, excited to take this program, because I know what it's going to give me confidence-wise as a person addressing strangers, selling my services and my skills to strangers um, out there on the streets and out there in the world and out there on the internet and everywhere. So so yes, yes, I'm outgoing, but it, it's, it's still kind of that one little wall within me that I have to jump over. But I know I'm going to jump over it. I'm confident in my ability and I am up to the task and up to the challenge. And once I'm over that wall, I'm over the wall. You know, once you, to me, once you do something once, you got it. You know, and so we're going to get it. So 
anyway, I wanted to come on. I wanted to give you my update. There will be one next week, obviously. So we're going. I'm going to tell you more about this course and what's going on with that. Other things that I am doing, maybe my first cold call or my, my first reaching out to somebody. I'm going to do a whole lot of getting down, get down, and get this real estate career going and moving and pumping because I got to sell at least one house this year. That is my ultimate goal right now. And then, of course, my four houses of the year. And then building from that. I'm starting with manageable goals. And it is completely possible because if anybody else can sell a house, I can sell a house. So I'm confident in that. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I know I talk. Um, hopefully you've gotten some from it. Remember to reach out to me if you're buying or selling or even wanting to rent or just for information. Um, you can go to Larry Smith at uh, <laughs> sorry, Larry Smith dot realtor. You can email me at lawrencesmith at kw.com. You can hit me up on social media, all at Realtor Larry Smith. That is me. So even if you Google it, it's on Instagram, it's on Twitter, it's on Facebook. So you can reach reach me and you can see that information of things I, I put out there by following me. And you can subscribe to this channel because you'll get a lot more than just real estate. There is some good stuff up in that playlist up there and up inside of those videos that you can watch that I guarantee you you're going to enjoy and you're going to want to share and you're going to want to comment on and you're going to want to like. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you know what goes on. This is my world. You're in the live for you world, but you're in the world that I'm living in and that I exist in and you're getting to know me and my world. So anyway, as I love to say, my realtor friends and those who are interested in real estate and who are not, who are just here listening to me, I love you. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.